Did any of that batter ever spill over off the set between you and Jimmy Walker? No, it never did. Yeah. Never, ever did. So y'all kept it respectful. We kept know. it professional. Yeah, respectful and professional. John Amos, my favorite <laughs> TV dad of all time. Nobody, and I mean absolutely nobody, comes close. No. In an interview that I saw him do with Vlad TV, your name was mentioned, and he lit up. Do you have a close relationship with him today? Yes, I do. Actually, I have a close relationship with everybody. Yeah. I do. I have a close relationship with Jimmy. I love him very much. I have a close relationship with Ralph, Michael. Right. Ralph Carter. I lo he loves me. I love him. We're very close. Right. I have a close relationship with John. And I have a close relationship with jo uh, Johnny Brown. Right. Johnny Brown. Bookman. So I'm like the, 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 I'm the one that I had a close relationship with every one of them. It's amazing. You're from Brooklyn, home of some of the biggest hip hop legends ever. Jay Mike Tyson. No, I'm talking about hip hop. Well, I guess Mike, I, I guess Mike is hip hop, but, but yeah, yeah, of course Mike Tyson is, ever, but I'm talking about hip hop. Uh, Jay-Z, Biggie, Wycliffe, MC Light. Big Daddy Kane, Jizza, RZA, ODB, all of these, and, and, I'm, and I'm missing a whole lot of other ones. How, how um, involved with hip hop were you? Or, or have you? Well, are you I knew fan? Big Daddy Kane. I knew him because he used to uh, be in downtown Brooklyn on Duffield Street. Uh, he had an aunt around there, and my uh, my cousins used to live there, so that he knew them. So I knew him from a long, long time ago. Okay. And, uh, you know, when he made it and everything, you know, he just said, I remember you and your cousins and stuff like that. So he knew me. Right. Yeah. So are you an avid fan of hip hop? Um, I am a fan. I just don't, you know, I, it was a little, it came after me. Right. It came after my era, but I'm more of, uh, you know, um, like um, the Isley Brothers, those people. <laughs> that's my group, Charlie. Right. <laughs> right. You know, that's kind of stuff. But um, I love hip hop in its own way. I do. I was in a hip hop video. I was in um, Big Daddy Kane's video. Oh, wow. What, what, which video was that? Car Hopper. Car Hopper. If, you, if you look it up, it, you'll see me. So uh, was Bernadette a, a car hopper? <laughs> <laughs> Carl Hopper. Sure okay. was. So I, I understand that you uh, bit hip hop challenge, but I'm about to challenge you. I need to know who is in your top five. What is Bernadette Stannis's top five hip hop artists? If you had to have a mock yeah, rush, I'm going to let you name them and I'm going to tell you if I like them. Well, so many. It's so many artists. I mean, like, it's a lot of artists. I out. like Salt and Pepper. Okay. I like them. Um, well, Big Daddy Kane. Uh, huh? Big Daddy Kane. You mentioned Big Daddy Yes, Kane. absolutely. Uh, um, LL Cool J. Okay. Um, let me see. It's, it's, I don't want to leave anybody out. Um, well, just, just below three for sure. What you what you do is like here go the thing like it's impossible not to leave leave anybody out. But you know what? I always pick my top five based on who I listen to the most. You know or who I listen to the most. You know so right now you two away. You got you got Salt and Pepper, Big Daddy Kane, LL Cool J. You miss you got two more. We got to get you a top five. You need two more artists. If you could put two more hip hop artists in your top five, who would that be? Um, Teddy Riley. Was Teddy, he hip hop? Well, Teddy Riley's a producer. Well, I like his music. <laughs> I like what he did. 
Okay. All right. Well, Teddy Riley. <laughs> okay. Four. I did. I like this stuff. Well, Teddy, Teddy's um, going to love this. <laughs> one more, huh? One more. Um, well, since I was in Positive K's um, video, I'm going to say him. Positive K. There it is. All right. Running in status is top five hip hop artists of all time. So before I let you go, is there anything on the horizon that we should be looking out for? I'm going to still do my book tours and um, I'm working on a novel that I've never written a novel and I can't wait to write that. I'm excited about that. Um, I have some things I do want to do. Um, I want to do it on the internet and, I, and have my own YouTube channel and I want to do a relationship show. Right. Nice. So when it comes out, everybody, you know, support. Okay, well, you're going you're gonna to be all right with that. I mean, I, I, it's just something just tells me that, you know, you like the, the, the success whisperer, you know, like whatever you want to do, you know, I feel like you can get it done. You dig? <laughs> so uh, back to that, to that YouTube channel, uh, if you need any help, you let me know. You know, this is what I do. I will. You let me know. I will help you get get it started and and and, and help you get the people to the channel. You did what okay. I'll help you. You bet. So you just let me know anything you need me. Anytime you need me, you got me. Hit me up, and I got you. All right, Willie D. All right, appreciate <laughs> you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Front of this, Stannis. Bye, Thank baby. You.